Uh, hi, my name is Laiku Paleka. Um, I'm a graduate of Kamehameha Schools, class of 2021, Lonomaka Ihe. And um, yeah, I'm a volunteer at K-Bikes. Yeah. I wasn't really, I didn't know anything about cameras um, before my junior year. Um, but I also, I always saw Nick, um, Aiden's brother, like always fidgeting with his cameras and stuff. And I was like, well, that's cool. So I started learning a lot about it. Um, and then I realized like, oh wow, this thing is actually really interesting. So I got into working with cameras. I eventually got my own camera my junior year and just experimenting with stuff. And then I had film class junior year too. And um, yeah, previous to that, I really liked to write. So writing was a big part. But in order to get my stories out there, I needed to film it. I needed like a, um, um, like a media way. So yeah, I got into cameras and I had film class. And um, my first experience with like, I guess getting something for my film was at the film festival we had at our school. And I made um, three films and I won like four awards and stuff. And it felt like really rewarding. So I was like, well, this stuff is really, um, it's really cool to do, like to see my, like my ideas like translate onto the screen and stuff is really cool. And then from there I just, um, I helped Nick with his Mokohiki documentary, like filming all around school. And then I would just take pictures of whatever I could, whatever I could get. So like paddling practice, um, at paddling meets, I would take pictures. And yeah, and then senior year we had the LAO thing, that super long film that we made. Um, and that was a lot. But that was my first experience with like a big project. And then that opened opportunities to like doing wedding shoots and um, doing like other jobs at like other schools, like helping them film. And I just took photos for like all my school events that year. So yeah, that was on my previous experience with media before I came here. Pretty much I joined the Air Force in January, uh, my senior year. So that basically, the way it works is like, I never know when I'm gonna leave. So I couldn't really commit to any like jobs I guess um, so I couldn't really make any full commitments to like doing college stuff and all that because I never knew when I was gonna leave so um, Miss Williams is actually a friend of my mom's and so at my brother's birthday party in August she was there and I, I told her about like how I wasn't doing anything pretty much like all this time like all past summer so she's like oh my technology department needs kind of needs help and so she told me about like what you guys do like video stuff and that was the first time I heard about it so I was like oh yeah I mean it'll, it'll be cool to like get out the house and before my parents have to force me into a job so it makes it look like I'm doing something so I was like okay yeah yeah I'll try and so yeah she told me what to do like make a resume and then send it to her and then that's how I ended up here yeah at first I pretty much just helped with the daily bulletin. That was kind of my main my main thing was to just help edit, basically just making sure it get done. And then later on I moved to sh um, doing streams. And then I helped um, just like set up for that and get stuff ready and hope like, yeah, just with the overall stream. And then yeah, paddling, I ended up commentating because <laughs> I knew about it, so yeah. Yeah, I learned a lot. Um, Cause this is my first time seeing this whole daily bulletin kind of set up. Like this is the first time I see a teleprompter and like all this kind of technology, like all the streaming stuff too, like with that live, like it's the first time I saw all of that. So it was cool to kind of learn like how it gets set up and how it, um, how like the streams are made, yeah. Thank you so much yeah, for your volunteering with us for the past few months. We're definitely gonna miss you. Yeah. And so yeah, like it's, it's been really such a, such a pleasure. If you ever come back, you know, we'll be around. Can I say something, say something else too? Yeah, sure, go ahead, yeah. Okay, yeah, so, um, so before I came to K-Bikes, I knew nothing about, like, I, I didn't know any of you guys. Um, and I knew, I knew pretty much nothing about Hilo High School because, like, I was at Kamehameha for so long. So I didn't really have, like, a, I guess, like, a public school type of, like, experience and stuff. So, um, that was always a thing. Like, with me and my friends, we're always, like, wondering what it's like outside of our normal like private schoolness. So that was kind of one of the things and I didn't know what to expect on my first day here. Um, but it was cool to see how much like the, the diversity of kids that are here. Cause I've been surrounded by like Hawaiians my whole life <laughs> pretty much. So it was cool to see like so many outside, um, 
I guess, perspectives and outside personalities besides my normal, like, Hawaiian life. It's cool how accepting everyone is over here. Um, Cause like a lot of the kids and K bikes are, they're pretty like, pretty interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like there's 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 I'm not lying when I say like there's no kids with their personalities in Kamehameha schools at all. Um, so I never had experience with so much kids like this, and it, it was really good. That's why I like I genuinely like coming here, um, and spending like a lot of time. Cause it's just cool to see how everyone is so different, but so accepting at the same time. Um, and this feels weird. Like whenever you guys have those moments when you watch like old videos on the TV about like all the other past, like it's like you guys have like a legacy. And I feel like kind of weird. Like I'm imposing on it, kind of. Cause I'm I'm like a total outsider. I know no one here. Um, so yeah, so I'd always trip out whenever I had like opportunities to watch like the games or just walk around campus because like no one from my school would be able to do that so it was cool to yeah it's just cool to see a non-toxic environment <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah I just have to say that because yeah, yeah.